Alrighty, welcome back. Hopefully you all are having a wonderful day. Welcome back to the Hypixel Skyblock show and uh, let's get right into it today, guys. Now, of course, we're here back on the crafts uh, again for another inactive upload here on the YouTube channel. But again, like I say every episode, guys, uh, I am planning on coming back. There's some big things in the works behind the scenes, so make sure to stick around. But yeah, of course, you guys did hit the like goal from last episode, so we are going to give away an MVP++ rank in today's video. So all you guys simply need to do is comment something random down below or your IGN. And I guess while you're down there, make sure to subscribe to the channel if you are new and uh, if you could tap that like button, it would be appreciated. Maybe tap it. Now, of course, guys, the island hasn't been so active as of recent. And with that being said, our minions have not been collected in a very, very long time. If we head on down to our tier 11 redstone mini, you guys will see we have three enchanted redstone blocks in this minion alone. Now, of course, what we're going to do to start today's video off is we're going to try and make a little bit of uh, some change here. And we are going to collect some of the enchanted snow that's been collecting in this. And uh, also, we're going to take off this crappy armor and put back on our uh, strong slash superior set. And dump our ever so cluttered inventory into this chest so we have as much storage as possible in our inventory. Now, while I'm collecting these minions, I do want to mention to you guys why we've been so inactive as an island. Now, the number one reason is mostly Safe and I have been very, very busy. And along with Hunneth, Hunneth actually uh, has been pretty busy himself. And for Safe and I, we've been very, very busy with my server. Life sometimes just gets in the way, folks. And uh, we've been very, very busy on and off uh, the internet recently. And uh, we've also mostly haven't been having a ton of fun on Hypixel, but we're kind of going through a little bit of a drought. You got to understand when you play this game for so long, eventually one day, you're just going to have a little bit of a drought where you don't want to play as much. But of course, in no way, shape, or form are we quitting Hypixel Skyblock. We're just uh, kind of taking a little bit of a break, but still playing, of course. We are still recording and still playing, hence why I've been doing weekly uploads as of recent. And we're also working on big projects like my server that I used to actually film on. So definitely some exciting stuff there, but more exciting uh, is selling this inventory for 1.6 million coins. Don't mind if I do, folks. Do not mind if I do. So another 1.6 million dollars in the bank, and that's not even all the minions that we still need to collect. I mean, look at this, folks. We still have stacks on stacks of enchanted uh, snow blocks that, of course, we still need to collect. Now, of course, I do want to stay away from the emerald and coal mains because I do want to start gradually upgrading those. So I'm going to put those back into the minion. But again, with another inventory, we got another 1.7 million coins that, of course, we could sell for. And uh, I think it's time to make a little bit of a purchase within today's video because, of course, folks, with all this new money, I think there's got to be something we can buy. Okie dokie. So I'm here with Safe Drift. How are you doing today, my friend? Wait, let me guess. I'm doing fantastic. Doing quite slow. Oh, <laughs> quite swell. <laughs> I'm doing great, man. I'm doing great. So I got, I brought safe drift in, guys, because uh, this cat talisman that we obtained last episode, we are going to now upgrade. So, of course, to upgrade this, we are going to head over to Guildford here, and we are going to complete this last race, three out of four currently, on uh, the giant mushroom. So what we're going to do here is we are going to start that, start the race, head over, and do the ender pearl trick. And just like that, I finished the race in 1.44 seconds, and with that being said, we have now upgraded our talisman to Lynx. Very, very easy. Alrighty, so now... Next up here, guys, we actually made an auction last episode. I know, it's been a while, but uh, it actually did end up selling for 500,000 coins, which honestly is a pretty good amount of money for uh, the legendary rabbit talisman, or not talisman, pet, that we actually sold. Now, by collecting this, we're going to head on over to the banker now. We're going to withdraw some funds out of our bank account. Now, I think what we're going to do here is we are going to make around a $3 million purchase off the auction master here and try and get something that we have yet to get uh, for ourselves here on Skyblock. And actually, now thinking about it, I think we're going to head on over to the bazaar here and grab our ourselves some minion fuel because especially within today's video we are going to need to pick up some better minion fuel for ourselves uh, to make this farm as efficient as possible so with that being said i think we're going to pick up 16 hamster wheels for 350k so don't mind if i do i'll take that now for the main proportion within today's video we are going to be making a farm by ourselves without any help from safe drift or hunteth and this is going to be fairly interesting because this is kind of a new design that i was thinking about now of course in previous minion farms that we have made we've had a ton of chest storage that we've had to worry about and with this new farm we're not going to need a single chest so in today's video i'm going to be going step by step on how to build this now fingers crossed that this thing actually does work uh, it's going to be heavily influenced by the personal compactor so of course we are going to take that out of the accessory bag and of course guys if a youtuber has made this already please let me know down in the comments down below so i can give them the proper credit uh in the description now to get started here we're going to set up the foundation for this farm uh by making the afk pool so just like so it's going to be an eight by eight square and then next up you're going to go really high into the sky like you guys can see here uh so that the mob when it falls it can actually die 
instantly. Once you have done that, you're going to make a little bit of a cone thing so that when the mob spawns, it's guided right down the middle so that it can fall all the way down into this little 2x2 two two square so that it can die and its items can land here so that when you're AFKing it, your magnet talisman is going to instantly pick it up. Now, our next order of business here is we need to find a minion to put into this farm. We need to find the best selling minion for mobs, of course, and uh, we're going to head on over to the Skyblock Hub and we are going to look through the bazaar for a bit. Now, after looking through the bazaar, I've came up with a couple minions that we can actually use. Now, yes, we don't have to actually use one minion for this farm. We can actually use multiple and within today's video, I'm thinking creeper minions and magma cube minions should make us a pretty decent amount of cash. So that's what we're going to be using. And not to mention, we have a lot of upgraded uh, magma cube minions, so it kind of works out perfectly. Now, what I noticed when I started placing down the minions is we don't have enough space for them to actually spawn. So what we're going to do here is we are going to make a little bit of a uh, funnel like we did down here with the chicken farm. And this is exactly what I mean. So if we put water right here in each corner, you guys will see it'll all funnel down into the middle. And what I'm starting to notice is we cannot do magma cube minions because uh, they actually split. So I'm a little dumb in that sense. But now what we're going to do is we are going to grab some creeper minions, place them here and uh, see if this can actually work. Alrighty. So we put a creeper minion up on the platform up there. And as you guys can see, a creeper comes down and just like that, three gunpowder has been collected. Now this is working absolutely perfectly. Now to keep in mind, folks, I've yet to test this. I don't know if your collection also goes up while you're collecting this. Scratch that. I just tested it. It actually doesn't work. So rest in peace. Uh, it would have been cool regardless. But hey, honestly, we're going to be making a lot of money off this. Now what I'm going to do next is I'm going to make sure that this uh, AFK pool works completely fine. And again, guys, you need the magnetic talisman to make this work because of course you need to make sure that you can pick up all the gunpowder through this wall. We also ended up placing down three more minions. And uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to throw in uh, some of the hamster wheels that of course we just bought. And uh, that should give us a nice four days of 50% increased speed. And now when we sit in the AFK pool, you guys will see that we are automatically now collecting gunpowder as we sit in this. And not only just that, we do need to configure our personal compactor 6000. So of course we craft enchanted gunpowder as of course we are just sitting here. So as we sit here in this AFK pool, you guys will see in just a second that the gunpowder is actually slowly but surely going up. Now, of course, this is not as efficient as I want it to be. I do want to add some more creepers to this, but uh, as we AFK it tonight, hopefully we can actually make some enchanted gunpowder. And especially as we size up this farm, we should actually be able to eventually make some pretty good money. Not only just that, remember guys, you can actually put in different minions. We don't have to only use creeper. We can actually use multiple. And the greatest part about this is we have no storage. We don't need chests. We don't need hoppers. We only need the person in this armor set. All right, enough cringe, moving on. All right, so it's the next day now, and after AFKing overnight, we were actually able to obtain a stack and a 12 of enchanted gunpowder, and we're gonna go sell that to the bazaar now. Now, of course, we only have about four minions currently running on the farm, and I must say, for about, I would say, 10 hours, that's a pretty good amount to obtain. And uh, just like that, we just obtained 182,000 coins. All right, so next up here, what we're gonna be trying to do is we're gonna try and upgrade one of these minions, either the emerald or the coal. It just really depends on uh, what is cheaper. But uh, now, since we've been running these for over a week, if we head into the ender chest, we actually do have a lot of enchanted emeralds on us and not only just that if we go to the coal mini you guys will see we already have two enchanted blocks of coal so with that being said we're heading back over to the bazaar once again within today's video and uh we are going to try and buy uh some enchanted blocks of coal and some enchanted emeralds so looking at the enchanted emerald prices uh 64k per stack don't mind if i do we need to grab some more money out of the banker and let's get back to buying folks and not only just that enchanted coal is actually going for a pretty decent amount but i think what we're going to do here is we're going to try and buy as many blocks as possible so just like that we got three so with that being said, we now do have eight stacks of enchanted emeralds and I believe we don't actually have enough for the uh, coal minion upgrade. So we are going to keep this running just for a little bit longer. But on the bright side, we can actually now get an upgrade. And just like that, now we only need 38 more unique minions to unlock the 24th slot. I thought I'd honestly do that considering I haven't actually upgraded a minion in so long. So it was kind of nostalgic. I also have this machine gun bone that I actually got from one of my dungeons excursions. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to try and actually sell it on the auction house. Now, I don't know if this is actually going to sell at all, but maybe it'll actually sell so heading on over to the auction master now uh, I know Hunnith actually tried selling a machine gun bow and it actually didn't buy and what I may do is actually may put this up because it's actually better I think than this one so yeah I'm gonna make an auction for this and if anybody watching wants this bow in particular, I'm gonna put it up so that of course when this video is out you guys can actually make a bid on it so uh, I'm gonna throw it up for 24 hours and uh, I'll make the starting bid uh, I think 250k I don't know if that's like too much or too little but yeah if you guys want that make sure to put a bid on it of course all jokes aside you don't have 
have to. Uh, don't bid on it if you don't need it. Uh, it's for literally anybody that just wants a decent bow. And by the way, guys, I know I'm late to the party, but the Summer Sloth? What is this? Uh, I, I, I need to check this out. I know I already claimed the MVP++ rewards, but I also need to claim a lot of these other things that I can, of course, uh, have. And there is so many things that, of course, I need to look at. But, I mean, I'm just going to collect them all, I guess. Oh, this is looking so good. Can I sit in it? No, I can't sit in, but it looks really, really cool. Alrighty, guys, if you made it up to this point in the video, please comment hashtag Skyblock in the comments down below. I'll try to heart every single one of your guys' comments. I'm gonna be looking, so make sure to comment down below. And if you're new to the channel by any means, make sure to subscribe, leave a like, do all that great stuff. And uh, without further ado, guys, hopefully this farm helped. I don't know, but I'm definitely gonna be using it. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day and peace out.